All right, so the topic I want to talk about is this situation with R. Kelly getting 30 years. R, uh, recently, R. Kelly received 30 years for um, sex trafficking and racketeering. They couldn't get him on the uh, rape charges or sexual molesting uh, charges or whatever. They couldn't get him on that, so they pretty much went, at, went after him with whatever they could get him on. And I think they still won't try to get him on some more cases, but he received 30 years. Now, a lot of people are coming back at people who feel they don't deserve R. Kelly. They don't feel like uh, R. Kelly deserved 30 years. And I'm one of them. Kells didn't deserve 30 years. He didn't do that. I'm sorry, but R. Kelly was a pervert, but he wasn't a pedo- but he wasn't a pedophile. He was a pervert, but he wasn't a pedophile. Um the 14, the, what he did to the 14 year old girl was wrong. He peed on the 14 year old girl. That was wrong. You know, he, he took it too fucking far. He, he should have deserved, he deserved a little time for that. Definitely. But I don't know about 30 years because he didn't, he didn't, he didn't rape as in, as far as force anybody against their will. And let's talk about it. I'm about to expose all of y'all as hypocrites because the same women, the same women that's calling R. Kelly a pervert are the same women in high school who said that we were too young for them and used to get picked up after school by their boyfriends, which is the people who had already graduated. These same hoes, these same hoes is the ones who loved older guys. Uh, uh, they say, oh, well, my classmates, people at my school, they too young and immature. I like a I like the older guys in college with the uh with the cars and used to always all of the girls in high school they used to love love dudes who had already graduated who are older who dudes who would come pick them up. What girl in high school didn't have an older boyfriend? But somehow y'all forget that. Somehow y'all have you know you have memory loss. Y'all must be old and see now or some shit because y'all y'all quickly forgot that. But what type of what type of girl in high school didn't have a, didn't have a crush a celebrity crush? And let's not let's not let's be real now. In all the little conversations they used to have, they used to talk about, oh well, if I ever, uh, well, what I would do if I ever uh, got my, my got my celebrity crush uh, alone, I would do this to him. I would do that. How is this any different from the R. Kelly situation? It's just that these these women, these 16-year-olds, they had their chance to do what all of y'all imagined and wanted to do. I'm not I'm not understanding the hip hop the hypocrisy of this shit. This is not it's not making no sense. All of y'all had celebrity crushes who y'all used to talk about what y'all would do if y'all ever got them along. All of y'all had older boyfriends that had already graduated that would pick y'all up, that y'all would have sex with or whatever, which is rape. I'm not understanding hypocrisy, man. And now, if if R. Kelly is a pervert, a pedophile, or pedophile, then guess what? So are your grandfathers and your great grandfathers. They are all fucking perverts. Because well, I bet you what y'all won't do is y'all won't ask y'all granddaddies and y'all great granddaddies what was the age gap between them and your grand and your grandmas when they started act when they started messing around. Ask them that. It's gonna be crickets. It's gonna be crickets. Y'all gonna be astonished. If R. Kelly is a pervert, then all of y'all granddaddies and great granddaddies is perverts. Because everybody knows that back in the day, typically the man would be about 10 plus years older than a woman. And the woman would usually start messing around. That women would get married early at like uh age 17, 18, 19. So most of y'all grand, most of y'all grandmas was like fucking 15, 16 years old when they started messing with people in their late twenties or early thirties. Like that's just how it was, especially in the South. But these are, these are cold hearted facts and pills that y'all don't want to swallow. I mean, I don't understand. So like I said, if R. Kelly is a pervert or a pedophile, then so are your grandfathers and great grandparents. And also technically a pedophile is somebody who likes women that haven't gone through puberty. 
a pedophile is someone who likes pre-puberty men and women. So all of these girls, uh, they were young, but they weren't children, technically. I mean, um, in a lot of countries, uh, at age like 14, 15, you're considered a grown woman. Now, I'm not condoning this, like, but I'm just saying, I'm just stating the facts. Like, R. Kelly is basically doing what our granddads did, which our great granddads did. It was a lot more acceptable back then than it is today. But I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy of the shit. That's all I'm saying. I don't like teenage women. Uh, it's a little too young for me. Uh, so before y'all call me a pervert, shut the fuck up. Your grand, your granddaddy is a fucking pervert, and so is your great granddaddy. And how do I know this? It's easy. You can ask any older person how do they feel about what was too young. Ask it. Ask any. Ask any older woman. They will tell you that they loved older men. Oh, I started messing around with older dudes when I was. 15, 16, 17. I love me some older guys. This is just biology. This is biology of women. Like, I'm not understanding. And I'm somebody who I do genealogy. Like, I I do the paper trail on people. And then, especially in the black family, you'll always see that the husband was at least about 10 years plus older than his wife living in the house. It's just a cold hearted facts, man. And technically, since we want to get to it, y'all want to call R. Kelly a rapist or a pedophile a rapist. All of you are fucking rapists. If you have ever had sex with any woman or any man who was under, who was intoxicated under the influence of alcohol, weed, caffeine, anything that alters the mind, is considered uh, under the influence of the intoxicant then you are a fucking rapist. If you've ever had sex with a woman after she had a fucking beer, a margarita, a fucking uh, anything with alcohol in it, any alcoholic beverage, no matter, no, matter, no matter how much, and you have sex with her after that, you are a fucking pervert. You are a fucking rapist. Because by law, that is considered rape. By law, that is considered sexual abuse. If you've had sex with a woman who had too much fucking coffee, caffeine, which is intoxicant, you are a fucking rapist. So technically, how many rapists is it out there? And let me tell y'all another thing with today's law. If you have not had if you have not had clear verbal consent to touch a woman, to grope a woman, to have sex with her, then that is considered rape by law. That is considered sexual abuse okay so every time that you have sex with your partner your wife your girlfriend whoever if you don't get clear verbal consent say uh baby is it okay is it okay if i touch you is it okay if we have sex right now she doesn't say yes baby it's okay then that is fucking rape so all of y'all are fucking rape all, all of y'all are fucking rapists I'm not the one that write these laws. I'm just saying, if you want to call him a rapist, then you're a rapist. You have sex with anybody who has something in their system, that's rape. You uh, touch, sexually touch, or have sex with uh, somebody without getting clear verbal consent, you're a rapist. I didn't write this. The, this is the law. Like George said, this is the law. I am the law. And like I said, like, uh, what he did to the 14 year old girl is wrong. I'm not condoning this. He definitely should have got a little time. I mean, R. Kelly took shit too far. Most of all the girls were, uh, 16 or 16 year olds. The youngest one was 14, was a sparkle cousin. Now, now the girl apparently, so they say she was already fast, hot in the ass. She was running away from home and she wasn't a virgin before R. Kelly, but what R. Kelly did to her was still wrong, but what I find ironic is that she, the youngest one who y'all the most mad about, she never testified or came out against R. Kelly. It's just all of the 16 year olds are the one who came out against him. And they didn't come out against him with their stories until they're grown women now. It's been like 20, 30 fucking years. 
Why didn't they come out in the beginning? I'll tell you why. They didn't come out in the beginning because they found out they found out they can get some money. Once they found out that they can get once they found out that by law what he did was wrong and that they could get money, somebody got in their ear, the Me Too movement got in their ear and told them, Hey, you were treated wrong, even though you don't know that you were treated wrong, you were treated wrong and you can get some money for this. So then that's when you have all these women who were 16 coming out and saying and changing their story against R. Kelly. And, bro, it's it's so obvious what they're doing. How, how come the parents didn't get in trouble? All their parents knew about this. So why aren't the parents getting in trouble for this shit? Why do you come out and holler rape and holler he was such a bad of a person 20, 30 years from now? After that money stopped running out, then you want to come out. What kind of shit is this? And y'all is just some fucking hypocrites. Y'all want to talk about R. Kelly? Talk about pervert ass fucking Jay Z. Y'all love Jay Z and Beyonce. Jay Z started talking to Beyonce when she was like, uh, what, sixteen? Uh, they say they didn't start dating until she was like eighteen, but they started talking before that. So he's a fucking pervert and a pedophile, if R. Kelly is. And uh, Jay Z was fucking with Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown said that uh, Jay Z was um, they was having sex when she was sixteen. She was sixteen fucking years old. So Jay Z is a billionaire who's known for sleeping with sixteen year olds. But yet he doesn't come under the same fire that R. Kelly is for some reason. Y'all love Jay Z and Beyonce. They're role model couple but jay-z is a fucking pervert and pedophile he's the same as r kelly he's done the exact same thing so and he was messing with Aaliyah. jay-z was messing with Aaliyah before um, when she was under 18 too so fucking dmx in uh in the movie belly uh keisha or whoever the fuck uh the, uh not keisha uh i think yeah i think she was 16 and one of the other little girls was a fucking 16 year old the one who was sucking his dick he was a fucking pervert. Who else? Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time, was a fucking pervert. His second wife, Khadija, whatever her name is, he started fucking with her when she was only fucking 12 years old. He started courting her when she was uh, uh, 12 or 13 years old. And he married her when she was, uh, what was she, like 16 or 17 or something like that. But they started messing around way before that. I don't even, I'm not even sure if she hit fucking puberty when they started messing around. But y'all won't ever call these people out. LL Cool J, another pervert motherfucker, just like R. Kelly, who's the rap about going to pick uh girls up at high school and hanging out at high school. LL Cool J is another one. Jada Pickett, fucking pervert ass. She was uh fucking with the little boy from Criss Cross, who was only like 14 at the time. She fucked around and put it on his ass and made him start wearing his damn clothes backwards. Then he, later on, he killed himself. Look what she did to that poor little boy. Pervert, bitch. And then uh, Tyga messing with the Kardashians. Biggie messing with, uh, messing with Little Kim. Uh, that picture that everybody loved it, uh, uh, with the Little Kim pose when she got her legs spread. Uh, she said that came out when her album was released when she was 18 and 19. But she also said that that picture was actually taken years before that. Which means that you looking at the, uh, which means that you, technically you're looking at the picture of a 16 year old, and everybody had that picture up on their wall. So I'm just saying, y'all are fucking hypocrites, man. If R. Kelly is wrong, then all of these other people is wrong too. But what's the difference is the money ran out for R. Kelly uh, previous women. The money ran out, and they see that. And the whole Me Too movement is just going too far. They're trying to come at the Chris Brown. They're trying to come at the um They're trying to come at the so many people. What's the other dude that uh what's the other dude who used to have the braids? Trey Songs, they trying to come after him. They're trying to come after everybody, but I'm just letting y'all know that y'all is fucking hypocrites. If y'all blame, if y'all talk talk bad and wish death on one of these people, but not the other one. Cause they all did the same thing. So that's all I got to say about this situation. I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy.